Oh, sorry, have you been waiting long? No, not really. Just an hour. I may not look like I care, but believe me, come sunrise, this establishment will crumble under my Yelp review written under a fake name. Is he with you? Yeah, this is my introvert translator, Hank. He says what I'm thinking, so I don't have to. Okay, anyway, so what can I do you for? <laughs> Sir? You triggered his decision paralysis. His what? Just, just give me another minute. Because yes, even though I had an hour to prepare for this interaction, which I knew was coming, that group of teenagers sitting over there made me feel so self-conscious that I just looked at my phone for an hour to seem busy. Not reading anything, just pretending to read for an hour. You know, I can move you to a different table if you want. Uh, that won't be necessary. I'm just counting down the days till I look like an old man so I can sit alone at a table at a restaurant without getting judged. What? Why is it that old people get away with sitting alone at a restaurant, but if you're a young person, it's pathetic. Okay, I'm just gonna let you browse the menu for a couple more minutes. Thank you. No, wait! The longer that I sit here, the higher chance it is that I'll run into someone from middle school. Make a decision, man. Uh, uh, I'll get the breakfast combo. AKA, the first thing on the menu. Okay, how do you like your eggs? Uh, Scrambled, just like his brain right now. That's all the questions he will be answering for now. Thank you. What kind of toast? What are the options? Why are you interrogating me? I asked for a breakfast combo, not a breakfast convo. We have white wheat rye. White, white. I'll just do white. You know, the least offensive of the bread so you don't get any okay. false impressions about me, but know that I am truly a pumpernickel guy. Yeah, I don't know if we have pumpernickel. Let me check. Please do not. Hey, Tony, do we got pumpernickel for this customer sitting right here? Pumpernickel, of course not. Who eats pumpernickel? No one eats pumpernickel. Okay, so no pumpernickel. Which bread are you going with? The bread doesn't matter. Because no matter how bad the food is, I will say it is good out of politeness and judging by the burnt omelets that I've seen come out of the kitchen, it's gonna be one of the biggest lies I have ever told, believe me. My mom and dad are the cooks here, sir. Oh wow. Do you know how hard my parents work to run this restaurant? They came to this country with nothing and they've poured their entire lives into this greasy spoon to give me and my brother Tony a chance in life. Yeah, uh. Yeah, maybe those thoughts I expressed should have remained unsaid. Yeah, no kidding, jerk. So do you want bacon or sausage? Uh, uh, sausage. Okay, pork or turkey? Uh, Why are you doing this to him? Uh, Not so tough now, are ya? Uh, pork! Okay. Finally, the torture is over. Patty or Link sausage? You're a monster. Uh. <laughs>